Hi everybody, uh, we're here today, um, it's August 14th, about 1 o'clock, and it's 80 degrees. We are at Mohawk Mountain, and we're going to be checking out the Mohawk Mountain Black Spruce Bog today. So uh, here we are, over here, we're going to hike, oh here we are over here, I'm sorry, this is another parking area, this is the bog. We're going to hike in, t in here, we're currently parked right here. And this is, there's a boardwalk right here, so this should be fairly easy hiking. The trail heads right over there. And we are at the State Forest Headquarters. And uh, this, interesting, this, this um, Mohawk Mountain Black Spruce Bog, of course, has American Larch or Tamarack is one of the few evergreens that will shed its needles in the winter. Your Black Spruce, Mountain Holly, Sheep Laurel, and whatever leather leaf is, and here you go. Here's a picture of how a peat bog forms. This is the current condition right here. And this is the only bog, proper peat bog, in Connecticut. They, they are common throughout New England. Um, but this is the only one in New England, uh, in Connecticut. And, of course, in bogs, you'll get um, carnivorous plants. These are carnivorous plants, the pitcher plant and the rounded sunleaf do. And I'm assuming this calla is... Uh, here's the actual moss, and here's something else we're going to see called gold thread. We're not going to get into that. We're here today. We're on Mohawk Mountain, following up on Native American legends of the Glaxka, the the Glaxqua. We're going to put the spelling up. Did I say that right, camera person? Gla Why don't we cut? So we're after the Janasqua. We're looking for the Janasqua, and this is a Mohawk legend, basically a Bigfoot. The, the difference with the Janasqua and your regular West Coast Bigfoot is that um, the Janasqua is known to be kind of violent and aggressive. And the legends go that they would tear your head off and uh, eat you. Basically, they would, they would attack humans because they're easy forage based. And so they don't have this cuddly image that your basic Squatch has. We're going to be going in there. Um, the name is from the Mohawk and Iroquois Indians. And um, we're appropriately at Mohawk Mountain because that's where we're focusing on more on the Mohawk legends because they were actually in this area. And uh, this, this mountain's obviously named after the tribe. I don't know why we do that. But, um, anyway. We are after this Janasqua, the stone giant. Now the stone giant would would roll around in pine sap and pitch, any kind of sticky stuff he could find, and uh, mud, and then roll around in rocks, loose pebbles, like you see here on the ground. And uh, that then would serve as a sort of armor against the native arrows. And there's a theory that the reason we're not seeing this today in, in the post-colony days is um, that we have bullets and they penetrate that. So they've stopped doing that behavior. But it would have been very effective um, back then, uh, pre-Columbus, um, when a stone's hitting the stone, it's going to shatter. And it's not going to cause any damage to the animal. And uh, there, that displays some pretty intelligent behavior. So we're going to go in here, check it out. Uh, it's going to be cool. We were just talking with a gentleman over here in this car here. He just came out and gave us some good information. And there's a boardwalk and a little place to sit down. And we'll see you in there. Uh, this is a proper field investigation. And we're going to be doing some call taps and howls back there and listening. And um, we'll see you in there. So this place is squatchy. I mean, we be, we keep coming back here. We keep going back to Robin Swamp. This place is real squatchy. We got some uh, hemlocks here. We got wild apples, and uh, we're we're investigating on the Mohawk legends of the Janasqua. And he's a very you know he's much larger than your other type of Bigfoots. Definitely a nasty predisposition. Um, tying right in there with that. Uh, Missing 401 stuff, David Pilates stuff, doing good work out there. Everybody, sh if you're in the woods, you, you got to familiar, familiarize yourself with this missing 411 phenomena. Uh, it, it's a little disturbing, 
but it's good, right? Knowledge is power. So we're here looking for this Dinashua. We'll get into some call taps in. We're just a little ways in, but we're going to go further out. We'll see you out there. This place, uh, as the camera person was saying, is gorgeous. Uh, it's, it's awesome. We got some kind of animal hole here. We've got the tops of some acorns. There's a lot of biology here. Little trails are going off everywhere. Look at this place. This place is just gnarly. Um, if you really want nice stuff like this, you, you want to gravitate more towards your state forest than parks. You get a lot less human traffic. Get these massive trees. And we're, we're on the trail, on location. Looking for Janaswa as we get in there. All right, you know we like to talk to the rocks when we find these big glacial erratics. Look at this guy, covered in ferns and moss and lichen and, you know, we got a white pine and we got a, we got a hemlock and we got a mountain laurel, Connecticut state flower. Um, how you doing, buddy? I'm going to talk to this rock here, try to see if he's seen it. Have you seen like a Janasqua, sort of a pissed off 11 to 12 foot, big foot? Creature uh, ripping people's heads off and eating them. Yeah, oh yeah, he he has seen that in his past. And the whole yeah, the whole stone giant thing. He's covered in sto stones, like not like you though, right? You're a little big for him, but um, call them stone giants. So have you seen any kind of stone giant activity? Yes, you have. Has it been a while? But you have seen one, right? <laughs> he hasn't seen one. But, but we're looking for one. You know, we're, we don't get into talking to laurels. They talk too much. We're moving on though. Nice chatting with you. You're, little, you're, you're talkative. I'll come back and talk with you another time. Looking for the stone giant. You always want to talk to the glacial erratics. Uh, you kind of got to interpret what they're saying. You know, they don't really uh, have a very slow voice. Um, but they have seen everything. They've been here for a long time. The Ice Age, woolly mammoths, all that kind of cool stuff. So, um, you know, part of being on location and what we do is go to these sort of out of the way places. Look at this gorgeous boardwalk. And again, Mohawk Pond is right down the road here. Uh, the summit is up there. There's a tower, a stone tower you can go check out, an observation tower. But we just found this awesome boardwalk. Um, you want to get out here and explore your state. Hey, shout out to Carl Nicholas, Urso there in Torrington. Thanks a lot, man. You're sending me some cool stuff. And to uh, my friend in North Carolina, um, maybe South Carolina, I, I'm one of the Carolinas. Down in Carolina, um, C. Wayne Wilson, always out there. You're always looking for stuff. You're getting some cool evidence. C. Wayne Wilson, how you doing? And um, our other new followers, we're going to be interviewing some people. We're going to go check out this totally awesome boardwalk in Mohawk Mountain State Forest. So I've been to a lot of bogs throughout New England, but with these hardwoods, these large hardwoods, we're already seeing, we're already sort of entering. This is, this is sphagnum, and this makes the peat moss, and just the roots of these trees are so much different than you find in, in the other New England bogs where the trees are stunted from elevation or winds or something like that, and, and this is just cool. I can't wait to find some pitcher plants and stuff, carnivorous plants. And we're looking for the Janasqua on location. Careful. Yeah, you 
you definitely, when you walk in this, you want to be careful. It's not as uh, nailed down as you'd like. And it's, of course, it's in a bog, so it's going to rot. This is a lot like the bog um, in Quaddy Head State Park in Lubeck, Maine. How's everybody? How's my family up there in Maine doing? Um, you want to check that place out, too. That's the most eastern bog in the United States. And here we are, probably in the most southern bog in the United States. Uh, in, in New England. In New England. But Quaddy Head would be the most eastern bog in the entire United States. This is just the only and most southern bog in Connecticut. This place is cool, dense, we already have apples, and again some fir trees here, which you can feel a lot of times this, this is your typical Christmas tree stuff, soft. So just a little ways in you get this seating area and it dawned on me that yeah, this actually is the bog. This is what it looks like. This is called a larch bog. We've never investigated this, um, but this is the black larch here that they're talking about. And uh, we really, it's a little different because it's, it's got more tree growth than I used to. But look at this little place here. Um, we want you to come check this place out. And you got, you know, you got seating, enough even for social distancing. You know what we're going to do is we're going to stop here and have a drink of water well water from the house we want you to check out our social media sites our facebook and our instagram our twitter accounts and uh, see what we're doing next we got some interesting stuff coming up but we're going to go in a little ways uh this is supposed to be a circular thing so we'll, we'll get as far in as we can and then we'll do some call taps and howls but Let's just listen for a second. This place is creepy. I mean, it's just, I'm sure the camera, you agree, camera person, this place is dense. It's a little different than the other type of bugs you see. It's quiet here for Connecticut. Cool. We'll do some call taps when we get further back. We'll see you back there. So you got some depressions here. Uh, they're pretty. They're just weird, and uh, we don't know. We're really, just inconclusive, and it doesn't. It. I don't know. Inconclusive. got a lot of deer tracks and back there we have potential bear track if not something else this appears to be a human footprint right here I'll give you a little bit of an outline that to me appears to be a human footprint see that uh, but definitely deer and the person on the way in said that a couple days ago we spotted a bunch of bears in here and remember be bear aware but we got some interesting tracks here and of course this peat bog it's going to leave impressions. This is just dense, nice. I don't see any pitcher plants or anything yet, but we're going to be looking. So uh, we've sort of arrived at the end of the boardwalk here. And uh, it's just, we got crazy fern growth in here. And uh, this would be a real easy place to get lost. And we're going to do a call tap. We're going to do two, one, wait then another one and then we'll listen to it. and take advantage of this thing too I don't know how solid this is not a lot of nothing to be hitting these guys they don't
I didn't hear any kind of response. Of course, we talked about how quiet it is here. And then, of, of course, in Connecticut, you're always going to have some kind of freaking airplane overhead. But when I did do that tap, a chipmunk started calling out. Maybe I scared him. You get the feeling you're being watched here. It's one of those places. Uh, it's high. It's high up on the squad plane. I'm going to try one more. Maybe I'll, I'm going to do two together. Um, shout out to Liam and Allison and Kyle and Abby and Brian. I wonder if they're still together. Anyway, I like turtles. That's what it says right there, and I like turtles. We like turtles. We're going to do two. started calling metal rocks when we did that and then the chipmunk stopped on the second tap you probably don't want to attract these um, these stone giants to you they don't have like I said they're not your friendly sort of west coast Bigfoot you know this guy's he's not cool He's not cool at all. You go around ripping people's heads off. You're not going to make a lot of friends that way. All right. You want to take a hint from your cousin Squatch, and he just sort of hey there and moves on. You know, the Patterson Gimlin film is kind of doing this, like hey, she, I guess it's a female, and she's just like hey, what's up, guys? I'm out of here. Shouldn't be filming me. But this guy, this stone giant guy, do you hear stuff like all the time? Like it's walking back there. I, since I got in this bog, it's like maybe bear or deer. Maybe a stone giant. We're going to go back to the first area. Uh, it's not a very long trail. Um, but we're going to do a howl from there. And we'll see. We're on location at the uh, Black Spruce Bog and Mohawk Mountain. And we're doing the boardwalk around Connecticut's only peat bog and you can see the peat growth here there's some interesting mushroom this bright orange mushroom I'm gonna go ahead and eat that I don't know what it is here, I'm gonna go eat this mushroom no listen don't do that don't eat mushrooms uh, even if you know what you're doing that bright orange guy all kidding aside yeah you probably end up in the hospital if you made it out of here in time. If you're a mycologist, um, why don't you let us know what that is? We want to know. Is it edible? Is this guy here edible? These guys here? They look every bit like portobello mushrooms, but if they're in that, if they're in that Adric family, that's, uh, that's deadly poison. It's something being picked out of the way. Look at these ferns dense ferns these things are you know and these things are super storage and here we are look you can see underneath us is this pond or lake that's now grown over so this is basically floating on water and if you really fall through there and this seals up you're done you're finished <laughs> you're basically giving these plants fertilizer and uh whatnot we're gonna look for some stuff and do a howl at the next place so this place here have we given it a squatch a meter we have not so we're gonna give this place 4.8 this is high squatch a meter only goes up to five in case you're wondering uh, if you like birds this is a cool place we're gonna do a shout a howl down the road so here's these depressions again. We're, we're on our way back. And uh, you see some sort of claw marks and they're deep. These are probably big, big honking bear. In Connecticut, we don't hunt, hunt bears. They get big here. They get big and they're not afraid. 
Um, but there's a lot of tracks here. We're seeing them everywhere. So the biology here is as dense as these trees. And this is some of the coolest moss, sphagnum moss. Um, up north, it doesn't really grow like that. I saw some big bluebirds. There's a lot of food here. Uh, you can't go very far in there. We tried walking on one of the trails, and well, it's a, it's a no-go in there. I mean, it's, that's dense. That's squatchy. Um, we're going to do a howl right from this sitting area here, and uh, let's give that a try. Uh, we were noting that there's a really cool echo here. When you see something loud, it sort of travels. Um, this is this is the direction of of the bog. You sort of see the clearing up there. We have a vulture overhead, turkey vulture up there flying around. They're totally cool, and uh, we're gonna do a howl. Other than the planes, it's eerily quiet. In here. Ooh! That stirred up a lot of animals back there. For sure, the birds are going a little crazy. There's a lot of bugs here. When you come here, we're gonna do a product endorsement, and this is not from the company. This is just because it works here. This is the Deep Free Insect Repellent Natropel. All right, you definitely wanna get some of that when you come in here. You can hear the horseflies. The camera person used it, and it's fine. And I didn't, and I have a black fly in, in my, I have a fly in my eye. Perhaps I'll die, I don't know. Um, get yourself some Natropel when you come here. Natropel, you owe us a little kickback now. He's looking at you. I'm not really getting any kind of response, but what I am getting is that these animals are reacting as if they've encountered this before, you know? Like at first when they did the taps, and then now with the with the howls, it's the same thing. They have an initial reaction, they go dead quiet. not a bug. There's not a bird making any noise right now. It's nice here. It's squatchy. I'm even going to do one more just to see We'll want to listen to see the animal reactions. When we do this, we'll see if the birds go nuts and then go quiet. I'm trying to do a different pitch. Ah! Dead quiet back there. Did you hear that? There was a grumbling noise, like a big something back there. We might have caught that. You heard it? No. Yeah, 
and you know, because you want to attract, you want to attract the stone giant to you, because because their cool history of killing people. It's not funny though. Listen, these Native Americans, this was their history. They didn't write this stuff down um, for their ancestors foolishly. Uh, we do that, you know, with our with our with our culture. I don't think these these First Nations people were into that kind of thing. So, attracting this big thing is probably something they wouldn't do, you know. And we don't carry. Okay, so um, we just did our howls back there, and uh, we're, we're here. Um, don't forget to check out our social media, and if you have any sightings or reports, you know, we'd love to come out and investigate that. There's, um, and come visit these places here. I know there's some people following our page, so we have, you know, hope we're showing you some really out of the way places. I mean, look at the ferns here. There's mushrooms everywhere. These bright orange, beautiful mushrooms. You've got these dense white pines, and of course the tamaracks, and and man, you got by a, a lot of blueberry bushes. Of course, bogs peat moss and blueberries that's like basil and tomato right there they go together like nothing um but we didn't really get a response today but what i did get is that i had a sense that these animals did you hear that okay there was some loud howl. It was a high. Oh. I think we could. I think we caught that. I'm going to do. Let's shut the camera. We're getting some sounds. Whether they be distant uh, man made noises, but that sure sounded like a howl to me. I've heard howls before. I'm going to do one real quick. We're running out of film here, but space but try to do it like that one we heard it It's real squatchy, real squatchy in here. All right, we'll see you on another part of this. I swear we're getting responses, but they're really distant. They're not in this immediate area. It's a bog. There's a lot of bugs. Do you? I mean, we don't. Like I'm all bitten up. Maybe they don't like bugs. It's dense. It's not easy to move through. We're going to be moving to another part of the mountain, and I'll try this out. Um, but you just heard a, a... Yeah, see, the animals react to these. You go out there and start howling, you're going to notice the animals. Okay, hi everybody. Now we're still in a, we're on the Cummingham Tower Trail. And we just wanted to show you the diversity of this mountain. It has a pond. Now we're in these giant stands of old growth trees and it's sort of widened out uh, it's a lot different than the bog um, just just a gorgeous place we just had lunch overlooking the, the, the Berkshire mountains there it's a gorgeous place we'll see you in the Cunningham Tower the tower is cool too
Stone giant? You seen a stone giant? We got a stone giant right here. The, uh, the Cunningham Tower. So this was part of a house. It's pretty impressive, and they don't build them like that anymore, that's for sure. Here would have been the old stairwell going up. Right here. This is some of the stones, and then this would have been the flooring up here. And then I'm imagining another staircase going up to the top, maybe not. Yep, there's another staircase, and it would have gone up to the top of that. And this is just an impressive tower. Some of the, this, uh, this hex hexagonal brick is still intact on the floor here. The tile work is absolutely incredible. You've got a picnic table. You've got a fireplace here. Large windows. I mean, whoever built this thing, they built it to last. And I'm guessing that the the very roof of this would have been wooden and that just rotted away. But the, all, the, all of the stonework is still here. If you know Latin, it's uh, MCMXV. If you know Latin numbers, there you go. Roman numerals, as we call them. That's probably the date. And uh, if I see Seymour coming here, you can certainly look him up. And, I'm sure he has an interesting history. Like all these places, there's a lot of graffiti, a lot of nasty stuff. Graffiti in these places tends to be very negative. Um, but this is a cool place. Let's do a howl out the window here. real quiet here. <laughs> I could swear I just heard twelve sounds. This is a cool place to come. There's a lot to see here. The pond is on the other side. We've already been there. Have we been there, right? And we got a bird's nest. What a great place for a bird to have a nest right inside here and underneath this and out of the rain and out of the way, out of the reach of any predators. Looks to be like a barn swallow nest. You know, if you're coming to these places from our videos, could you at least not leave any pollution behind? It's terrible. It's everywhere we go. All right, so uh, here we are on top of Mohawk Mountain, Mohawk State Forest, and the uh, Mohawk Pond is over there. And there you are, the foothills of the Berkshire Mountains, and uh, we're looking for Janasqua, Stone Giant, we had some cool responses. There's a lot of trails here. There's these really cool towers. We've got weather stations over here if you want to look at that. Um, but again, we want to remind you to check out our social media sites, all of them, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Check out our web page. Um, go on our pages. And if you have reports or something you want us to, forgive me, um, bugs are fine. See, so use bug repellent in this place. There's a lot of bugs. Um, but Facebook, if you have reports, um, and you want us to come out and check it out we will we'll take it totally serious we'll keep you anonymous and we'll let you know we followed up on robin swamp and that was just totally awesome and here we are
Nobody's here. Let me do a howl. Woo! On location, CSIS. We'll see you in the next investigation. There's a lot of grills and picnic tables scattered throughout this mountain, and uh, the pond is down there. But we're on location to get these cool weather towers up here. I guess if I don't know, man-made. How cool can that be? Um, but this is a nice place if you want to come to a free place and have a picnic. Look at this. You can't beat that in Connecticut. There is a portal at, <laughs> and that's good to know, down by the headquarters over there. There's an actual plastic portal at, but otherwise they got these real primitive um, outhouses. And there's no water here. This is not a park. There's no, there's no admission. There's hardly anybody here. And you have these incredible views. So we'll see you at the next episodes. Check out our social media and send us reports. And thank you again. This is always fun coming up here. We're going to be coming to Mohawk Mountain throughout the year. Uh, it's squatchy. 4.8 in the squatchometer. Wow.